Zolika Mandela to be laid to rest in private funeral service. Up until the very last moment, Zolika Mandela had a hand in the planning of what life would look like after she was no longer here. In an interview with Kaya FM, the mom of four said she was in the planning stages of her life, meaning she had a say in how she wanted to be commemorated, how her family would break the news of her passing to the media. Mandela's farewell service was held on Wednesday at the family home in Soweto. For those who would like to participate in some small way, her memorial service will be live-streamed on Thursday at 3 p. M. As per the late 43-year-old's wishes, her burial on Friday will be private at Bryanston Methodist Church and take place at 9 a.m. On Monday, Mandela's family released a statement via her Instagram account. Letting fans know that she had succumbed to her illness after battling cancer for several years. She was admitted to the hospital on September 18 to receive treatment for metastatic cancer which had spread to her hip, liver, brain, and spinal cord. In her final Instagram post, she said she had a CT scan administered a few weeks back, which showed that she may have had blood clots as well as fibrosis in her lung. My medical oncologist has recommended blood thinners and oral chemo, Mandela continued. Always want to look at the glass half full, the granddaughter of the late Nelson and Winnie Mandela added. On the upside, I'm incredibly grateful that I am still treatable. Leave your comments in the comment video below, don't forget to share with your family and friends.